I'm not sure how I'm feeling about my hair. I'm going to put my hair up. Why not? Let's do it. Now, I know man buns are a little out of date, but I prefer them just because if I have mine in a ponytail, I end up looking like one of the IC technicians. If you go to my school, you know exactly who I'm on about, but that's all right, I think. Actually, no. Ah, that's better. Okie dokie. So, after you've read the title, you've clearly seen something about a car crash. I don't know what I've called this video yet, but it's going to have at least car crash in the title. Now, the car crash I was in involved the car, which I was in, getting hit by a bus. Not just, not just a single decker bus, a double decker. We, we got hit by a double decker bus. So I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened. Now on this day, I was vlogging a video just day out because we were going to the old Vic to watch a player called Snow Queen. And the video is up on my channel, so if you want to go and watch it, it is there somewhere. It has another car crash in title as well. Great clickbait. But unfortunately, I didn't actually get a car crash in it because that would have got me some pretty nice views, but oh well. We were on our way driving into Bristol and we were going in by Cabot Circus Way. And on the way past, we were going outside of Primark. Now, where Primark is, there are three lanes. You've got the bus lane, then you've got the first car lane, then you've got the second car lane. And we were the only car in the furthest lane. And at that moment, there was no other car within that lane. So the second lane, which all the cars were in, that was basically where they were. It wasn't like we were trying to overtake anything. It was like, if you go in that lane, you're going more that way. If you go in this lane, you're going more that way. And then, as we're driving, the bus, somehow, I think someone must have let them pass. Clearly, he needed to get into the furthest lane. And we were the only car in that lane. And being the only car in that lane, you would have thought he would have seen us. No, he didn't even notice us. You would have thought he would have seen us, seeing as we were the only car in the lane. Clearly, we must have been in the blind spot, or he just didn't look. And knowing that, it's probably a second one. Then, we're still driving, but this guy somehow went from the bus lane, straight through the second lane, into the third lane. But instead of straight into the third lane, it went straight into the side of us, hitting the front passenger side which is where my stepdad was, and basically bent the door nearly into him. Luckily, no one was hurt in this, which is great. And everything just went slow motion. The first thing I heard was just my mum going, shit, stop, and then nearly try and honk in the horn. And that was just as the bus was about to hit, hit us, because we didn't notice until it was like, turning out, we realized what was gonna happen. Then that's when it hit slow motion. We basically just jumped off our seats like two or three times because of the impact, just like, great reenactment <laughs> and then the first thing someone says which is me fucking cunt yeah, that was proven by the way he just walked out of the bus because he just walked over exactly like this just walked around just like <sighs> just like that and also before i go on any further there was a barrier where he had hit us into and on the other side of that barrier were cars coming this way when we were going that way so this way we're coming and if that barrier had not been there, it was told to us by the police who came and helped us out after that, that if that wasn't there, we could have been injured quite badly. So luckily that barrier was there. But anyway, this guy, the bus driver, gets on, because there's like a little bit of a pavement where the barrier is, which you can stand on. It's not a pavement you're meant to walk on. It's just like a bit you can stand on. It's just wide enough to stand on, basically. And he walks to the side. My mum get the window down. And he's just like, you okay? And my mum's just panicking. She, Cause this is the first time she's ever been in an accident. She doesn't know what to do. So he just goes, okay, is anyone injured? Everyone okay in there? Yeah, we're all fine. Like a bit shooken up. But at this moment, the bus is still trapped us. And it didn't occur to me at the time, but it was what was worrying my mum and Ellie quite a lot was the fact that like, Part of the car had been punctured like the fuel tank and something decided to ignite then the car could have been set on fire and we'll be trapped in because the bus would have been put against us and what the guy does and this is, seems like a massive con the way the bus company actually do this says right i'm gonna get my inspector what and he gets his inspector but Obviously he's got to phone the inspector and then bring him down, but before he does anything, 
he drives the bus back into the bus lane and then takes a picture of the accident. So make it, trying to make it look as much as our fault as it is his. And then we're just still in the car because we don't really know what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to get out? Are we supposed to wait? Because, and people would start to come up to our lane and it was like, if someone had come like really fast and like not stopped in time, they could have hit the back of us and someone would probably have died. But then whilst the guy's calling in his, his inspector, my mom just goes, right, she, I'm calling the police because they're the ones who need to deal with it. And we're in great danger if a car does come up behind us and just hit us because they weren't looking and make this worse than it has to be. So then, they, we call the police who actually get stuff sorted. What the police did, there was about two or three of them, I think. One of them was on a horse, so she just kind of started walking across the road. Because what the cars were doing, they were going into the bus lane and around the bus where it crashed at first. And then the bus like moved it. So then they were just going through the second lane. So that's why we couldn't get out, actually. That's just reminding me. Because cars were still coming, they weren't stopping, so it's like we couldn't get across safely. So what the police did, they helped us all get out the car and then get across safely because they stopped the traffic. After they did that, people just helped move the car into the bus lane, and that was pretty much it. I'll show a picture like here of what the car looks like, and it is kind of difficult to make out what's actually happened. But if you see, like the door's gone into itself, the wind mirror has come off the glass is shattered like it's not completely like fallen out but it is shattered then the second door for the back the back seat passenger that's kind of been hit and the tires were just gone into each other and the one on the right was completely just punctured and that is basically what happened at that point now the thing which kind of shocked me most about this day was how scummy the bus company actually was to try and hide anything against them so they can get away with as much as possible and they tried claiming it wasn't their fault for a while on the insurance side but i think with security cameras and stuff and how it had happened and how the impact happened they kind of eventually just said yeah okay it's our fault which is a good thing because it means my mum doesn't have to pay for the damages then she brought another car but it was the exact same thing because we want to go to New York, and if she had brought a newer car, it would have cost too much, and we probably wouldn't be going to New York, and it's kind of been a dream for us to go for quite a while. And that would be a good thing to go to, rather than a new car, in all honesty. But yeah, we went on and had a good day. If you want to watch the rest of that, I'll put the vlog at the end, with the end screen thing. And yeah, so that's been the video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you enjoyed that little story, leave a like. If you want to see more content and more stories in the future at some point, if I can remember or find any, then subscribe for more. And, and if you want to just see any more content, subscribe and stick around for more. Anyway, I've been Ollie. Also, I was trying to think of names. One of the things I came up with was Ollie... Ollie flies solo, Ollie vlogs solo, I don't know, because it's just like, I kind of like the whole solo thing, and I feel like that's kind of come apart of me, and I really do like the name. I might just keep it with me and just be like, Ollie vlogs solo, Ollie flies solo, I'm going more towards, just because yeah, it has a bit of irony, but also truth to it as well. Because it's like, these kind of videos, they're solo, it's just me. But then when I'm vlogging, it's always going to be basically with Ellie. Not always, but most of the time. And then we'll be just a bit ironic how, oh, he's not the solo. And it's a bit, I don't know. Or I can just call myself Ollie. I just feel like I need to add something else to it, rather than just Ollie. So yeah, I'm thinking about choosing Ollie Fly Solo. Tell me how you think about that name, Ollie Fly Solo. Leave a comment down below on what you think about that. Awesome. Anyway, again, leave a like and subscribe and share with your friends because I haven't got any people to share it with because I'm a lonely mother trucker.